Okay, so how many of you get home from class and try to sit down and study the notes you just took? But you quickly realize your notes are no good or they just don't make any sense. There's doodles in the corners and unfinished thoughts and sometimes you can't even read your own writing. <laughs> Yikes. But hey, at least you know when the next exam is, right? Wrong. This isn't constructive. On the other hand, you might make such detailed notes that you don't know what to use or even when to study. So whether you are an in-person learner or an online learner, taking detailed notes is a vital tool in college. So the tutors in the tutoring center at Clovis Community College want to help you with three ways to take notes because being organized and outlined is invaluable. Our three ways of note taking are Cornell notes, the Feynman technique, and an outline. With Cornell notes, you first want to take your paper or notebook and split it up into three sections, just like this. In the first section, you're going to record as many meaningful facts and ideas as concisely as you can. In the second section, you want to sum up that information. So when you get home from class, sit down and summarize those notes in your own words. In the third and final section, you're going to review. So you'll write down questions or examples that relate to key points or questions that will appear on the exam. Review these every day leading up to the exam. The second note-taking technique is called the Feynman technique. Take your paper and at the top, start with the concept, idea, or subject you're studying. Under that, you want to explain the concept using simple language. The idea here is to do it in a way that's easy to understand as if you're teaching it to someone else. Under that, the next step is to identify those areas that you're still shaky on. And finally, you will then go back to your sources to review. So look over your readings, lectures, or books to help you understand better. You will repeat steps two through four until you feel as though you fully understand the material. Our final and most popular form of note-taking is the outline. When making an outline, you will want to either use Roman numerals or bullet points to organize your thoughts. If you use Roman numerals, begin with Roman numeral one on the top line and follow it with a main point. On the next line, indent and use a capital letter for subpoints. Indent again and use numbers for supporting details. And even use lowercase letters on the next line for examples or even more detail. As you continue this pattern down the page, you will have an extremely organized form of note taking that can be as detailed or as broad as you need it to be. At the end of the outline, write a summary of the lecture or reading, and at the open space up top, record any new vocab words. We know taking notes can be frustrating for anyone when they're learning new material. So it is important that you form healthy study habits now that will help you form a routine to use the rest of your successful college career. We want you to go from this to this. So come on in to the tutoring center today or give us a call.